Hi there guys, uh, in a previous video we looked at this uh, cheap Chinese uh, USB charge that came with a cheap camcorder board and I did a teardown of it. Now I didn't do a destructive teardown of it for a reason. What I looked at was the uh, poor attempt of a fuse on the board. Just there, uh, if you can see it. So what I've done, I've created a fault. I've bridged across all the input pins of the primary of the transformer. So let's uh, put this back together, if it'll go back, which I think it should, because it's clipped together, not glued. What I did forget to point out as well in the previous video is uh, that the oyster separation between the primary and the secondary is good, however, them two small yellow wires actually press against the metal case of the uh, USB, so that wasn't very good considering it's very poorly insulated. So what I, by creating this fault, basically, if you was to plug this into a UK outlet, and, and the fault occurred when it was operating, because we use a ring main system over here, uh, the sockets basically have a 32 amp breaker on them. Now this isn't something you should try and repeat, but. What I'm going to do is plug it into this extension cord socket, a trailing socket. Now technically, if it was a normal trailing socket with a normal 13 amp plug on it, you would have a 13 amp fuse on the end of the lead. Now, this doesn't make a fair test because that fuse will blow, well, inevitably will, inevitably will blow and it will absorb some of the energy. So what, I'm going to, what I've done here is to recreate what it would have, be like uh, to be plugged in on a 32 amp supply. Now there is a way I could have done this, I could have opened up the plug, took the fuse out and bridged it with a bit of wire, but that's not a very sensible thing. So what I've done, the end of the extension lead is terminated with one of these big beastie 32 amp plugs. So I'm going to plug this in to the 32 amp outlet on the wall, which is there for welders, and I'm going to flip the breaker and see what happens. Right, let's trip the breaker and the light's gone out. That means that it's not only tripped the breaker in the 32 amp socket, but it's also probably tripped the 50 amp breaker out that feeds the shed. It seems we've got daylight in here. Let's unplug it and see what's happened. And of course, you can see that some of the uh, force has actually blown Try to blow open the case, so. I left my smaller screwdriver in the house. <clears throat> oh, total carnage. So the wires have explosively detached themselves to the uh, the incoming pins. They've completely blown off, and they're even still warm. Oh, so the Chinese's idea of fuse has worked, but what it's doing, it's arced so violently. And it, does it, it looks like there's even been arc into the uh, metal case of the USB, as you can see, just there. So, so if you was if you was holding onto the end of the USB lead, and this this appliance was to develop a fault, you could have for a split second 240 volts on the end of the USB lead. So there's been arc into the uh, metal case there. So yeah, not very practical. Right. Well, I'll catch you later.